but this is how you draw a decent graph. You start with a title. That it seems obvious, but you'd be amazed how many people end up with something like this, which is rubbish. You need to have a title to uh, tell everyone what they're actually looking at. Seems obvious, you'd be amazed how many people don't do that. Um, right, then, let's say you're graphing the number of um, tomatoes versus um, the amount of spoons for some reason. Um, so, <laughs> you'll have a data table then with tomatoes and, and spoons all listed. Uh, make sure you put the maximum amount of tomatoes way up the top here to give yourself a nice bit of space because if you have it if you have the max down here then your graph is going to be tiny you'll only go there or if it, worse if it's up here you're going to just miss you, your graph will just be half a graph okay so regarding what to put in the axis axes what you're going to do is uh, you're going to put what you did at the bottom and what happened on the top so if the thing is how much pies I'm eating, I put that there and the units, make sure the units are, are in there. So I don't know if there is an official unit for the amount of pies. I'm pretty sure it's just pies. Um, but how f maybe how fat I get, I'm gonna I'm gonna change the units here into belly size and I'm gonna say kilometers wide if it's a big pie. Okay, I should say, uh, so what you did always goes down here. And what happened when you did it goes up there. So really this depends on what you did. Uh, so this guy here is called the dependent variable, as in variation changes. And this is the independent. So I, I, I like to think of it as I did... I D, you see there, or I just I. Uh, independent goes there. So the thing you did is the independent variable. Uh, make sure you got units, and the dependent variable goes there. All right. Next step. Uh, let's just say uh, for this sake, we'll pick something super boring. Uh, weights. Uh, let's say it's weight is the dependent or the independent variable if it's down here it must be independent so what does that mean if I've got weights an extension here I look at this graph and I can say that let's say uh, Han Solo was doing an experiment with weights and extensions I can already tell there's no numbers there's no title yet but I can already tell that Han Solo did not did not mess with the extension and then something changed with the weight how do I know that? Because this is in the I did space. This is in the independent, which meant I know Han Solo was messing with the weights. He was adding them, subtracting them, throwing them, rolling over them, shooting them. I don't know what he was doing with them, but I know it was down here. It's got to be independent. So, uh, right. And then you can add other stuff. Oh, and I should say that, you know, it looks like when he changed the weights, this happened an extension as in something stretched all right uh okay so the next thing you can do you can add some numbers um i should probably add a title at this point um ah uh, what did he do so he stretched a spring so there was looked like there was a, he was adding weight to the end of a spring how bored was he god um so uh, he's added now in in the newtons, which is very important for that because weight is a force. The, he's got his units, and he's it's only going down by centimeters each time, so it looks like there are small weights. All right, and stretching a spring, he's called it. All right, see, I know what he's doing now. Excellent. Right, and he's got a little data table up here. Um, so okay, let's see if we can fill in some points and make a graph from. Uh, all right, so. We're going to start at zero. We're probably going to get a bunch of points around here. So let's just... You always go in pairs. Uh, meaning that the first guys I'm taking will be these. These guys here. The 2.6 and the 2.5. All right. And then we're going to move down to the next pair. And then we're going to move down to the next pair and so on. All right. 
So I'm going to take extension 2.6 centimeters. So that's my my extension. There we go. 2.6. Oh, I don't know. Let's eyeball it. It looks about about there. So it seems to be like something like that. So I draw a line around at 2.6, and uh, and that corresponds. What would you say with the weight that was when it was 2.5? So when the extension was 2.6, the weight was 2.5. There's 2.5. Oh look, there is a line. Excellent. So it'll be easy to trace. I come up where the two lines cross lightsabers. Never got both got blue lightsabers. I do a little X. There we go. I put an X wing. Um, right, next bit. This is this is easy. Look, the weight was five. The weight was five years on my next pair, and that corresponded because I'm always doing them in pairs to five on the extension. So let's see, five. I just draw a line. I could draw it up all the way up here, but I'm pretty sure it's going to end up at halfway. There, I follow this line. It's not exactly accurate, but you know. Okay, and then I put an X swing here. An X. Excellent. Uh, I see what I did there. And then the last one, 7.5, 7.3. Okay, they're different, so I better make sure I get these right. Um, the extension was 7.5, so it's not this one. That's wait. Extension. Over here, the extension was 7.5. Bum, bum, bum. I go out into like here. And for the 7.5 extension, I'm looking at a 7.3 weight. So let's find 7.3. There's 7.5. I'm going to say meh. It's like, what, 7.3 is probably about there. All right. So yeah, I'll we'll just go up here up to the top like that and um, these cross I get an X happy days that's it so uh, now I've got what looks like three points on a graph excellent now it's time to draw a line of best fit hmm now which way does this go so is it this one of these things you like draw like this, is it? Hmm? No, it's not! No! You don't ever draw join the dots or you will be shot. There is no excuse for joining dots. You we graduated from play school many years ago. The joining the dot joy is over. Now we uh we've moved on from that. It's time to try and figure out a best fit line, not just joining the dots. Um, so what you do is you've got a bunch of things. Okay, last time it was easier, and look at these dots. Okay, I gotta find one line that goes as close to all of these as I can. All right, it doesn't necessarily ha even have to go through zero. Um, so let's just draw a line and basically move it around now. You're gonna to have to kind of do this with your ruler. Uh, it's easy for me because I can just move this line around. Uh, but let's just see if this is right. So okay, I wanted to get close to this point, but close to ah. Oh, so like, is that good? Hmm. So this this line is neglecting these two. This line is neglecting those two. Oh, that's even at the wrong angle. So we kind of need like one about. What halfway through? So yeah, so that's almost right. Except this guy seems to want to pull it over a bit. So you kind of have to satisfy all of them as best you can. And there we go. So now this guy's fairly close to it. This guy's fairly close to it. And this guy and this guy are a little bit further away, but they tend to like even each other out. All right. So none of these can be like, oh, it's not fair. I'm really far away. This guy be like, well, I'm equally far away. Um, and these guys are kind of paired off. So we're all happy, we're fair. Excellent. What about this one? Well, okay. Let's see if I drew a line here. Now, let's see if I can move this around. That? No, because this guy's neglected. There? Nah, he's a bit neglected. What about. Yeah. 
that's kind of alright. I mean, that's a little bit better. Because that wouldn't be fair on this guy. This wouldn't be fair on that guy. So I'm going to kind of, yeah. And up here, I guess I could probably just go through. This is a tough one. This guy really should have done more points on his graph to make it more sensical. Sensical is probably not a word. Um, all right. That is the perfect outcome. If you have lots of points, it's easy to share the line amongst all the little marks. Uh, so that is what you're going for. Now, sometimes you'd be you'd be doing a little graph like this, and uh, you know you'd be like. That one makes sense. Okay, so I'm getting my line set up here. Oh, it looks like a great. Every, everything's on the line. The guys look so. Except for what is that? What happened? I mean, someone's messed up the experiment because the the other ones made so much more sense. I, I get that this kind of makes a, a line, but what? Who did that? I mean, it, it, this sometimes happens. You put down your points, and one of them just doesn't make any sense. So we'll just call that an anomaly, uh, a mistake, a complete mess up. And what we'll do is we will circle this guy, and we will just pretend he doesn't exist. We might mention them if we're writing up the experiment. Just say, yeah, we got this thing. Uh, sorry about that. So, unfortunately, everyone has their days where, like, they were staring at the window when they were recording some time. Or um, they added the thing twice. Or, I don't know, they were having a chat. And mess up. So, it happens sometimes. You just circle. Ignore. Do not get the whole line and go, whoa, just because... I mean, it's obviously a horrible mistake, so just pretend it's not there. Um, circle and ignore. Do circle it. So it identifies you've seen it, but you know it's rubbish. See if you can spot the bit to circle here. And you can just pause it here if you want to, like, think about it. Well, I know. That's my line. Therefore, the loner out by himself has to be this. Circle, ignore. Okay, Ugh, this looks messy. Um, so I draw that line. That's satisfying most of the points. Except for this guy who's sitting out, looking in being a giant mistake I'm going to ignore that guy yeah circle and ignore and this is probably less subtle or more subtle I should say yeah because this is who's the mistake here hmm sometimes you can see like this it's not quite obvious I'd still yeah it's it's almost it's a tough one. I, w I would still say, like, if you had to pick a mistake, it would be this guy, right? Yeah. So, that guy's a mistake. Um, don't put a smiley face here. Uh, just circle and ignore. And that's it. That is all graphs.